What? <laughs> Today I'm playing Engineering Whack-A-Mole. It's a really old game that I've been playing for some years now. The Marble Machine X process has felt like playing Whack-A-Mole. It's actually my least favorite theme park game. I love to go to theme parks and play like shooting ducks and stuff like that. I always won like the largest bears because I was so incredibly good at it. <laughs> Except for whack-a-mole, actually. It just didn't give me any joy to whack those moles. But the Marble Machine X issues that I have to whack down does give me some joy. However, I think in the beginning of the Marble Machine X, I loved just solving problems that came at me. Now I'm getting more and more impatient with myself when I make a design that causes a lot of uh, problems like this. From now, I think a good design is a design that kind of sees around the corner and kind of anticipate what kind of moles can come up and fix them before they come up in the design itself. And I thought my marble gates was a mole-free design. However, a mole has come up in the marble gate and today we're gonna whack it. <laughs> Here's the mole that we have to whack down today. So the PMA pipes here are restricted from moving downwards or backwards and to the side, but they're not restricted to move upwards. So when I lift this pipe, keep a close look at the marbles up here. Did you see that they shift position? So one more time, when I push this pipe upwards, you will see that the marbles up here moves. They moved forward because the path became longer. This is actually a big deal, because when the path becomes longer, the flushness on the top of the Marmachine X isn't working anymore. In the last video when I played Hi-Hat, I all of a sudden heard a lot of marbles going on the floor. It's because the marbles are stuck here. Like that. And it's because the top marble here is not flush. So it's very important that marbles are not getting stuck here. That's why I really want to fix this problem. I need to keep this PMA pipe pressed down and never able to lift. My first idea was to use silicone and just make it super ugly. It would have worked, but I don't like to glue stuff together. I like to keep things dry so we can take them apart. My second idea was some kind of metal band like this. It looks ugly. So then I thought of some nicer looking metal wire, but I'm like, ah, oh, taking that apart and no. In a rare showing of helpfulness, Wilson suggested that I should use this old part that I don't need anymore, because this is exactly the size for PMA pipes. I think it's a really good idea, Wilson, so thank you. Let's do it. Did you make this Wilson? Wow! <laughs> it looks so great. I don't understand. I've been trying to build this machine for like three years. You haven't helped out once. Why the sudden helpfulness? What's that? You hate moles. <laughs> okay, he hate moles. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's amazing. Should we try it on the machine? Yes! Oh, did you use washer stacks? 
He used washer stacks for height adjustment. That's my favorite method. <laughs> Thank you, Wilson. <laughs> so these two holes meet the bolts that were there anyway. So Wilson has shown a lot of resourcefulness in this design, I have to say. To adjust the pressure on the pipes, Wilson opted for a washer stack system, which is of course <laughs> going to get high points from me. Depending on the number of washers, you get a different height on the top and still maintain the correct pressure on the whole assembly. So this is not clamping, so let's remove some washers. So this bracket here really did the trick. The pipes are rock solid in every direction now. They don't move at all. Good. That's great. The snare works perfectly. So now I have to build something for the kick drum. Wilson, did you already make it? Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Wilson. What? You really hate moles? Okay, well, good for me. This looks amazing. Good welding job there. So let's try to put this on the kick drum. These are now rock solid. I can't move them in either direction. For the hi-hat, I took this approach. If you are revolted by the looks of this, that means you have great taste because this is awful. <laughs> this will get the job done, but it's under even my levels, which is really low. I'll put it on for now. I might have to whack down this mole again in the future. It doesn't feel good to put it on, but what's that, Wilson? What? You made a better bracket so I didn't have to embarrass myself. <laughs> wow, this looks amazing. Super complicated geometries and everything. Wow, thank you, Wilson. Yeah, I agree that metal wire looked actually too bad even for me. <laughs> thank you, Wilson. <laughs> so this hole there goes over this bolt and then the two arcs clamps down on the pipes. That fit is perfect, Wilson. Rock solid. One, two, three hold downs. <laughs> okay, we whacked that mole, but I'm not happy about it at all. I give myself an acceptable for the solution itself, but I give myself an unacceptable for the fact that I made a design that allowed this mole to come up. This is why I'm never finishing the Mar Machine X, because the Mar Machine X has 10,000 parts. And if moles come up out of 10,000 parts all the time, I'm just going to play engineering whack-a-mole till the end of time. So on the positive side, this was only the drum channels and we fixed them. So I still have to go into CAD designing of the 22 vibraphone channels and the eight bass channels. I will be able to make a design that doesn't have this particular mole hidden inside them. This hurt a little extra because when I made this design, I contemplated two versions. One where the bend of the marbles going into the marble gate was made in plywood and the bend was fixed. And this one with the PMA pipes doing the last bend. I chose this one because I thought it would be visually more interesting to see the marbles going into the gate. And again, I'm paying for prioritizing looks over functionality. If it wasn't for you, Wilson, <laughs> I, I would still be whacking this mole. For three years, he hasn't done a single thing. Today, he was just absolutely amazing. So shout out to Wilson for whacking this mall for me. See you tomorrow.